and welcome to the latest episode of That's right. I'm glad you're here. Uh, wanted to show you a little bit. Uh, I know in previous episodes we've we've um, uh, reviewed such such uh, you know meals as uh, reheating um, pork ribs and um, how to properly use your um, 700 watt microwave with 1100 watt times and uh, and so many more. But today I'm going to tell you about. Um, what I had thought was not a uniquely American uh, dish, and it's probably not uniquely American, but there are some folks outside of, of this country who, when, uh, when they're told about this dish and they hear the ingredients, they can't imagine that these ingredients not only would go together, but would taste wonderful together. And it turns out that once they've actually tried it, people love this. So much so that they find themselves bringing the ingredients back to their home countries so they can evangelize about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Let's do it. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, you, you, you've got to have fresh bread. I prefer white bread. Some people uh, uh, are, are okay with um, Okay, so let's get started. Um, I prefer fresh, gotta be fresh, white bread. Some people like whole wheat, some people will eat it on rye, a lot of people like to toast uh, their, their peanut butter and jelly. Uh, personally, I'm old school. Good old fashioned Jif, smooth. I do like crunchy, but personally I prefer smooth. You don't want to put too much peanut butter on, but you want to have enough. All right. Now, as for the jelly, I uh, always ate grape, but I've come to love strawberry preserves. Not jam, although it works, but for me, this is the way to go. Again, you want to have a good amount, but not too much, because if you do it right, it'll drip all over the place. Now, this is important. Et voila, a perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I hope you could follow those steps. Um, I know that in, in, uh, in some countries, this is just, just awful. You've probably never heard of it. But once you give it a chance, I promise you will love it. Okay, so that's it. Really not a lot to it, but it's got to be done right. Right? So as we said, gotta have fresh bread. Gotta have fresh bread. Now some people like toasted bread, some people like wheat bread, some people will even eat it on, you know, uh, pumpernickel or, or um, whole wheat. But I say why mess with perfection? So good white bread, good fresh white bread, good 
smooth peanut butter for me, Jeff, and I prefer strawberry preserves, but some people like grape jelly or other types of jellies or preserves. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Until next time, this is See ya.